Darren, two weeks off. Um, good chance to sort of work out the memory of Fleetwood, get out your system. But uh, what have you been doing with the players for those two weeks? Is a chance to sort of a um, bit of R and R, or um, really refocusing on the promotion push? I think we've done both. I think we gave them a little bit of rest over the weekend. Obviously, we're not having a game. I think it was important that we get. We knew it was coming. We, we were always going to give it to them in terms of. I, th I feel mentally as well as physically that they needed. To, it's come really at a good time. I feel, you know, and hopefully freshens everyone up. And then obviously we've looked at the things we needed to look at. But now we're in a good place. We were disappointed with the performance and the result at Fleetwood uh, because we went into that game in a really strong run. Um, so it was a disappointment to lose that sort of running winning run that we were on. Weather wasn't all that great and you had to deal with uh, the loss of Ivan Tony to suspension. Um, did all the wind and everything kind of um, skew your thoughts on your front partnership for this weekend because it might have made it difficult to assess how good they were? Yeah, I, I felt there was a lot that it was difficult to, to analyse in terms of, I think in particular the first half because you know, the one thing that stood out was the two goals we lost were very soft and we didn't create as much as we normally do. But Fleetwood made it difficult when they went ahead because they knew we couldn't play in behind them because the wind just took every ball. They went in there straight through at the goalkeeper. And what we didn't do well enough was move the ball quicker, quickly outside them to cause them problems. But when we got the equaliser, we were on top. We had the momentum. And the second goal was a really, really poor goal to lose. And I was annoyed by that, disappointed by that, and the players know that because I felt it was a game at that point that we certainly weren't going to lose, and as if, if anything, going to win it. Um, but you know, if you're not going to win the game, then at least take something out of it. That's sort of was the mentality. So it was disappointing to lose the game. It has to be the mentality when you're looking to get at the very least a playoff place because every point counts. Yeah, I feel we're the same as. Maybe nine teams, another nine teams, so ten of us that feel that both top six and top two are possible. I really do. It's so close, and and that's how we're treating it. But we are very much single-minded in the fact that we're treating each game as it comes, and we'll see what it takes us. The most important one's obviously Saturday, and the, and the other thing is that during the month of March. It is Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. There's no midweek games, so you can really focus on the individual game, which is important. Yeah, a lot of recuperation time yeah. when you're not playing Tuesdays as well. Um, it's good as time as any to talk about um, your treatment table at the moment. Mm. How's your squad looking for this weekend? Very moment? good, very good. Um, obviously, Ivan's still suspended. Um, Frankie Kent's still not fit. But apart from that, we're, we're all fit, we're good. The lads are looking great and they've trained very, very well. But they, before the break, they look very good, fit, physically strong. Um, and that's something that we need to carry on. How's Frankie Kent progressing? Because that was quite a nasty injury. Well, it's, it's probably, in terms of good news, the operation, the actual injury itself, it's probably the best news we could have hoped for. I was worried. I was when I see injuries to the knees and the way it happened. I was I was concerned, but now in terms of the length of time and the actual injury to his knee, it's probably as minimal as it possibly could be. He'll be back for the Bolton game, so he's only going to miss another two. So that's a big bonus for us. That's pretty good news. Um, you want to keep as many of your players yeah. um, training, never mind yeah. in the first team during a run like you're going through. Um, What's your thinking for the weekend in terms of a front pairing with Ivan still suspended? Well, obviously, I've got a choice to make between probably three in terms of young Ricky, uh, Mo and Idris to partner Dembele. Um, so I've got to have to pick one of those three and I've not made my mind up yet. So r r young Ricky I feels... He's picked up my knock on Tuesday, so he could be a doubt, so it could be coming down to two. This is the option of maybe putting Sammy up one and putting someone else as a ten. So I've got different options. I've got good options. I could change formation. I know myself what I'm going to do in terms of formation-wise and things. So I think we've got enough in there to to make the changes and, and for someone else to step up and, you know, take their opportunity. 
Burton on the face of it, quite a tricky tie this weekend because lost twice in 2020. Only South End though have scored fewer goals at home than Burton, and they won their first in a while at the weekend, 3-2 away at South End. Yeah, there was a first one in seven. They changed the formation. They played a back three, which they haven't done all season. Um, I feel they're, they're a very, very dangerous opponent because on the day they're a very, very good team. They're very flexible. They've got a lot of rotation. They're a team. They've got some good players. So we think it's going to be a tough game. Um, and every game from now, regardless of whether the top of the league or mid table, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It doesn't matter what eleven games we've got left. We have seen that if we get to a certain level of performance, then we're very hard to beat. And we have to try, if we can, to keep that level of performance consistent. Hopefully get a bit of luck in games. Um, But that's all we're focused on at the moment. And we have to try and take care of every opposition that stands in our way. 1-0 win over Burton at London Road Mm. before Christmas. Um, How much of a bearing is that going to have on this weekend's game because clearly both sides, both squads and clubs in terms of form have changed quite radically. I would say we have um, and I don't think it's going to have a bearing. The two two games, the two games you play against the opposition during the course of the season very rarely are are that similar. Um, The only thing I hope that is the same result and that would be great and we get another three points but the game we played at home was a very scrappy one, not a very enjoyable one. It was just a case of getting the points and doing your job and Wardy's got us a winner in the last minute. Um, so you, you take another one of those. Uh, it's all about winning games at the moment. In fact, you've got effectively, I uh, know it's cliche, but you've got effectively 11 cup ties between now and the end of the season. If you win every one of those 1-0, you're in a good place. Yeah, if you win, it, if you win every game, you, you've got a right chance, obviously. But no, we, we, we just treat each game the same and the good thing for me is we're in form. It's, you know, we've got 18 points out of 21, it's very, very good. We may have to go on another run like that to give ourselves a chance, but we're only looking at Burton and when you've had a defeat like we did at Fleetwood, the most important one's the next one and, and, it's, and it's getting a reaction. I think now till the end of the season, the teams that manage to react to bad results, because I'd be very surprised if if one team go through and win all their games, I think there's going to be drop points as you see over the course of the week. It's how you react to that and, and deal with that, I think. It is very tight mm. at the top. Who do you think has got the most favourable running? No idea. No idea. I don't think anyone has. I think it doesn't matter who you're playing, each game's winnable. But certainly we've seen ourselves and as other teams have. And that's why I think a lot of teams have had good runs and, and different runs. and because it's such a close league and, and, it, and it really is anyone can be anyone but I keep maintaining to the players that we have to be consistent and keep our standards because there's no question that whenever we play against a team the team that we've come up against um, no, no, we're a very capable team on our day Speaking of runs and indifferent runs Moise has struggled a little bit in front of goal over the, the last few months um, in and out of the team a bit um, all he needs is a shinner, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, he had a great opportunity at Fleetwood to, to score from the penalty spot. It was a bad penalty by his own admission. So, you know, it did affect his confidence in the game. I didn't think it was a great game for strikers because of the weather, in particular the first half. The second half became a little bit easier against the wind, actually. For both teams, that was the case. So, no, listen, Moe's no different to any other player, apart from the fact that his position, you know, as a striker, you want to, you're paid to score goals. He has scored a lot of goals this season. You know he's he's done very very well, but he's had a bit of a dry run. And all all I keep saying to the boys, he's got to continue working hard, make sure he gets that bit right, and hopefully, like you say, he gets one off his shin and he gets going again. Assuming you get everything right in terms of on the training pitch and on the pitch on a match day and, and your squad selection, how much? Is mental over and above that? Yeah, that'll come into it, definitely. Um, I don't think so much now at the moment, but but I, I feel that last season, the way the season ended, in the sense that we were really fighting all the way to the last minute of the season, we had to go to Portsmouth and we knew that if we didn't win there, we were out of it. We managed to take it to the last game of the season, so I think that'll stand us in good stead. 
plus you've got some good experience in there. Thompson, Boyd, Beaver's been through it all. Myself, I've been through it many times. So I think it's in, important that we, we use that experience and, and help the other ones that perhaps are not used to this sort of situation. In an ideal world, Darren, what would you be looking for this weekend? A win. Every game's got to be a win now. We, we haven't got much room for error. Certainly if we want to get in the top two, we haven't, we haven't got much room for error now.